everyone, my name is Megan and the one thing you need to know about me is that I love bees. Today is World Bee Day and there is so much to celebrate. Often when we think of bees, we think about honeybees first, but there are so many other kinds of bees in the world, like leaf cutter bees, minor bees, and of course, bumblebees. Did you know that all kinds of bee populations are declining around the world? Things like pesticides and climate change are affecting other pollinators too, not just bees. There are currently two species of bumblebees listed as at-risk species right here in Ontario. So today, to celebrate World Bee Day, I want to take you bumblebee searching with me to find, to identify, and log some bumblebees in a very cool app called Bumblebee Watch. It's super easy and super fun. So let's go find some bumbles. Once you find a bumblebee, you need to approach it quietly and gently. Bumblebees are usually pretty relaxed while they're foraging for nectar and pollen. So you don't have to be too worried about getting stung. Try and get one photo looking at the back of the bee so that scientists looking at the photo can identify the bumblebee by the color bands along its back. If possible, try and get a photo looking at the face of the bee because the face and antenna have details on them that can help the scientists identify the species as well. And finally, try and get a photo from the side of the bee. This will actually help scientists figure out if the bee is a drone, if it's a worker, or if it's a queen. Okay, now that we have some photos, I'm going to show you how to input the data into the app. Okay, so the first step is actually to filter out where you are. I usually just use the nearby because that will filter out all, the bee, all of the bee species that are found in my area. The next thing to do is to figure out or try to figure out what kind of bee species that you have. There's a very cool filter here. So you can actually go ahead and pick what you feel like is the bee that's closest to the one that you saw and then figure out from there what kind you think it is. Don't worry about getting it wrong. I think that the bee we saw is a common eastern bumblebee and so now that I'm pretty sure that's what it is, there's a little plus at the top. I'm gonna to click on that. And this will give us our data entry page. So the first thing to do is to select how far you were from your location. So I'm pretty much in the same location. So I'm gonna say that I'm zero to 25 meters away from where the bumblebee was found. That will help scientists figure out where the bees are located. The next is, it's asking here for the floral host. I know that my bee was on a dandelion, so I'm going to type that in as well. If you have any other observations, you can write them in the observation notes. I love bees. Finally, the last step is to input the pictures that you took. So you can very, very easily go into your photo library from there and add in the pictures that you want to input. Make sure to get a really close up picture. You can zoom in and change how close your photo is. Once you add in the rest of your photos, you just click submit and you've inputted your data into Bumblebee Watch. Don't worry too much about getting your identification correct. The scientists that look at your photos will actually check over your data and then let you know if it's correct. The data that we collected today will actually help the scientific organizations across Canada. For example, Science North has been working with Wildlife Preservation Canada for the past several years on their native pollinator initiative. This data will actually help them with their research on species at risk bumblebees. Thank you for coming along bee searching with me today. Let us know in the comments below if you download the app and try it out yourself. Or let us know that you love bees too by dropping a bee emoji in the comments. Don't forget to continue supporting Science North. Like and subscribe on all of our channels. Happy World Bee Day, everybody. I'm gonna go look for some more bees.